My first reaction was to let the world see what is happening in the United States of America. I wanted the world to see and I knew that I could not tell anybody what I had seen. It was just too horrible. In the summer of 1955, the brutal murder of 14-year-old Emmett Lewis Till startled the nation. He was in Mississippi on vacation from Chicago visiting relatives. Unfamiliar with the Southern code of white supremacy, Till made the mistake of saying, bye baby, to a white woman as he walked out of this grocery store. Police found his body in the Tallahatchie River a few days later. Do you have any evidence bearing on this case? I do know that this is my son. Mamie Till's determination to see her son's killers brought to justice inspired other blacks to demand their rights. Later that same year, 33 years ago, Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King Jr. became household names when blacks in Montgomery, Alabama refused to ride segregated city buses. We're not sitting in rocking chairs anymore. I said, uh-uh, we're rocking boats now. In fact, we're going to turn them over. At 66, Mamie Till Mobley is still outspoken. She and civil rights activist James Farmer were in Boston this week to receive Lifetime Activism Awards from a Massachusetts Senior Citizen Action Group. I, I never thought I'd meet you in person, but I thank the Lord God that I did. Normally, I think some women would, might, would uh, just bury their son and forgot about it and went on with their lives. But this is one woman that kept on to make the civil rights movement uh, go on. We must set out to do our life's work so well that nobody could do it better. In Chicago, Till organizes a group called the Emmett Till Players, young people who travel with her to spread the message of the civil rights era through the words of people like Martin Luther King. As I pass along, if I could cheer somebody with a word or a song, if I could show somebody that he is traveling wrong, then my living will not be in vain. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me why some of the reasons or some of the answers you came up with as to why you, as you describe it, got lost in history. Well, I'm pretty not? sure that you've heard of the good, the bad, and the ugly. And nobody wants to deal with the ugly. That the death of my son can mean something to the other unfortunate people all over the world then for him to have died a hero would mean more to me than for him just to have died. Reporting, such as in the PBS series Eyes on the Prize, has shed more light on Mrs. Till's role in the civil rights struggle, but fame is not because what she's seeking. The, it is the final outcome that I'm interested in. And I am interested now in someone sparking a movement to get our kids turned around, to get them out of this off this dope, get them out of these gangs, energize these kids in a positive direction, and let's get on with the business of positive thinking and living. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.